Okay, we're back. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh god, we're back and we're being attacked by everything. Oh god, it's terrible. Huge disaster. Oh god. What's up, guys? Royale with Cheese here, and welcome to a special Christmas edition. Ah, he's coming right at us. <laughs> of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right. I'm here, I'm hanging out on my personal server, hosted by Nitrato. That's right, if you guys are looking for your own server, make sure and go check out my Nitrato link down below. They're super amazing, they have the best servers, and we absolutely love them. But we're here to talk about the Christmas event, and in particular, this guy right here, Gotcha Claws. Now, I streamed a lot of this event over on Twitch, which if you guys haven't already done so, you should come check me out on Twitch. I stream Twitch every single day, and it's lots and lots of fun. Uh, you guys should come join us over there for the streams. But lots of people came in and asked me, how do you feed Gotcha Claws? How does Gotcha Claws work? How do you get the presents from Gotcha Claws? So we're going to walk you through that today. We're going to show you exactly what you need to do to get presents from this guy right here. But if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so now let's get into the talking here. Now, all over the island, anywhere that a Parasaur spawns, Gotcha Claws can spawn. There's lots of them all over the map. There's not just one. There's lots and lots of them. I just happened to find this guy right here. Now, you can't really... You can you can open his inventory, but you can't do anything with him until you wait for Raptor Claws. Now, Raptor Claws comes at between midnight and 2 every day on the server. If you push H, it'll pop up that thing in the left-hand corner there, and it'll tell you what time of day it is. So, for me, it's only 8.40 in the morning right now. So we're going to take a break, and I'll come back right before midnight, and we'll go see if we can find ourselves a Raptor Claws. And we'll be right back. And we're back! Alright guys, here we are. If you check, it's uh, 11.57 right now. So any minute now, uh, sometimes you get a notification, sometimes it'll say Raptor Claws has arrived, but I've noticed sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there it is! See, Raptor Claws has arrived! Ho, ho, ho! So now, if we look around, we should be able to find him somewhere on the island. So, uh, we have speedy flyer mod, so you can travel around pretty quick. If you don't have that, it'd probably be best to do it on, say, a griffin or an owl, or maybe even a pteranodon, but you want to be able to get around the map quickly. Let's see. I'm not seeing him initially here. I'm going to have to give a little fly around and see if we can figure out where he is. He doesn't always spawn at the same spot. It's a random spawn, and then, oh, I hear the Christmas music. Where is he? Raptor Claws! Come out, you ho-ho-ho. <laughs> See what I, because it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. um, seriously, never had this much trouble finding him. Usually, he's like, right, easy to spot right away. Oh, there he is. There he is! Look at guys, we found him! Look way off in the distance! It's Raptor Claws! I love what they did with Raptor Claws. Raptor Claws looks really amazing. As you can see, he's got three reindeers pulling a sleigh with a raptor and a Santa hat. And if you see that dropping down right there, that's what we're looking for. That's a present. And he'll drop several of those, maybe like six or seven one way across the map. And then he'll usually go do a different way across the map, drop five or six more. So there's two coming down right there. Let's go see if we can get one of these. Uh, they tend to seem to be in really dangerous spots. I don't know if that's on purpose or just have bad luck. But it's always like in the worst dangerous spots. Like in the swamp or in the, these are in the freezing cold area. Let's see if we can make our way to one. One day. As you can see, you're going to want to... Oh, I'm almost out of stam. Oh no, huge disaster. Alright, we're going to have to stop for stam. And it's super dark. I'm going to gamma up again for you guys. Sorry about the gamming, but it's like nighttime and super dark. Okay. All right, we're going to wait for this one to come down right here. We should be able to get this one. Hopefully it's not landing on like a Giga or anything ridiculous. No, just a UD. Okay. But here, you, here it is. You can see it's a red and green present. It looks really cool. Now, they do have a timer. They come down just like a drop. So, they start at 100 health and they go down. So, you have to get to these fairly quickly. They don't stick around too long. And as you can see, he just went in a line. He's just dropping a line of them across the map. 
If you're fast and you have a fast flyer, you can get to a few of them before he disappears. But uh, I'm going to land for Stam. And uh, I guess I'm going to bring you guys back. This is going to take a couple minutes for this one to hit. To uh, no, it's going down pretty quick now. Okay, we're just going to... We'll are we stay with it. We'll keep it live. No cuts. No butts. No coconuts. One day. This one looks like it's going to land in a terrible spot. So it's a good thing I have tech armor on. Because it's going to be not the easiest thing to get. Looks like it's going to land right on the side of the mountain. We get this... All right, uh, should be able to get this. Okay, now you walk up to it, and as you can see, it says a supply. It's just like a supply crate. Oh, the Christmas music! It access the inventory, and you get some things. You'll get some armor usually, or like a weapon or something. You'll get sometimes a cryopod, which is really great if you don't have extinction. You can get cryopods. Uh, this happens on all the maps except aberration, I believe. I don't believe it's happening on aberration or on consoles. I've heard. I've heard it's only you only get raptor claws on PC. So then you get some other stuff, some mushrooms, uh, Freya curry, flowers, jerky, all that stuff doesn't really matter. What we're really concerned about is this, the coal and the mistletoe. Those are the two important ingredients, and we got that, and then the, the drop disappears. All right, so we're going to fly around and see if we can grab a few more of these, and then we'll be right back, and we'll go try to visit the gotcha claws. All right, here we are. We're at the next drop. I had to run a pack of wolves over the cliff right there. Super dangerous area. See if we can get it. Okay, we got some building junk, a blueprint for a 647 uh, pistol, a 7076 uh, damage um, scythe. Okay, run away. Get out of here. All right, let's on to the next one. All right, coming in for a landing here. Probably a super dangerous spot. Let's try to just get it quick and get out of here. I love the Christmas music. Okay, what do we get this time? More mistletoe, more coal. A 390 lance, a crappy, uh, a crappy sickle, and a bunch of building stuff we don't need. We we'll just throw all this on the ground. All right, on to the next one. We got to do it quick so we can try to get as many presents as we can before he disappears. Oh, ho, 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 ho! To yourself. Where is he? Take him off. All right, we're at the next drop. There's a Christmas T-Rex right on top of it, which is not the best news of all time. Are you gonna come at me, bro? You coming at me, bro? Or are you eating these? He's eating something else. As soon as I get off, he's gonna come attack me, probably. We're just gonna take this quick. Oh god! Ah! All right, fly away! Fly, cheese! That was pretty cool, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it because I got it so quick. But we got a leash there, which is another aber uh, another extinction item that you can only get on extinction until this event, which is really really cool. Uh, you're getting items that spawn only on extinction. Uh, there's another drop right here. Let's see if we can get this one before it disappears. As you can see, these are getting lower and lower. Oh, there's a gotcha claws right there, if you look. Like, as, as I said, they're, like, all over the map. I don't believe their level makes any difference. I've seen, um, like, from as low as, like, 50-something all the way up to 180s. There's another one right over there. The gotcha claws are literally all, all over the place. Um, let's grab this one quick. More coal, more mistletoe. Some 846 armor gloves. Oh my god, those are really nice. Uh, drop, 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 drop. We're getting attacked by a Christmas dillo. Ah, run away. Ah. Okay, we're okay. Oh, look at that super red and green tape jar. Really nice looking tape jar. Okay, on and on. Here we go. Again, we're doing the speed mission because they, they don't last that long. So you got to get them really quick. Go, go, go. There's one up there. That might be... Is that the last one in this line? That might be all we're going to be able to get tonight. I don't see where he is. I don't see him anywhere. Okay, here we go. Let's get this one. Big money, no whammies. Stop! We get this time. Uh, more coal, more mistletoe, a Ascendant Baryonyx saddle, and a bunch of building stuff and junk we don't want. All this stuff on the ground. Is that it? Is there any more in this line? Oh, there's one more. We'll get one more in this pass. And then it'll be fine. Time to go find a gotcha claws and see what kind of gifts we can get. Alright, more coal, more mistletoe, uh, ascendant 
Titan boot and blueprint. Oh, we got some element dust, which is also cool. You can get that over here and set them on extinction. All right, and I think that's going to be it. Oh, server, please. Ah, fell off. Okay, I'm going to go uh, fly around and wait until it's nighttime and find a gotcha clause, and then we'll be right back. And we're back! Okay, we're back. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, God, we're back, and we're being attacked by everything. Oh, God, it's terrible. Huge disaster. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Birdie, help me. Help me, Birdie. Okay. Woo! Can you guys please? I'm trying to record a video here for the people. Okay, we're back. Uh, that's just a galley minus. We all right? All right, we found this gotcha claws over here running into a tree. He's kind of looks stuck, but that's perfect. So as you can see, the only thing in our inventory is the coal and the mistletoe. Dang it! Hold on. Being attacked again. We're under attack. Maybe. Are you guys all right? Are you guys gonna be cool over there? All right, I think we're okay. Stay over there. Ark and Raptors. Okay, here we go. Uh, so now you open up his inventory. Now, a lot of people uh, were asking me how you feed him. They were saying they were throwing it on the ground and he wasn't picking it up. You actually walk up to him, access his inventory, and put it right in his inventory. So you put the mistletoe toe and the coal into his inventory, and then he'll start eating it. And he'll... Oh, God. Now we're getting attacked. It's a huge disaster. We're under attack. Raptors are here. I'm pounced. Everything's the worst. Oh god. It's huge. Oh god. Let me up. Oh no. Stop hitting me! Please! Please stop hitting me. Please. Pretty please stop hitting me. Okay. Now as you can see, he's over here. He's sitting down. And he's, he'll start dropping crystals off his back. If you get lucky, you get ascendant ones. This one looks like a primitive. We've got a primitive one there. This one, another primitive. Come on, gotcha claws, give us some nice stuff. So far, two primitives. And this one's a level 138. I don't think the level means any difference. I've used 180s, I've used lower level ones. They don't seem to make any difference. Another primitive. Come on, gotcha claws. Hook us up, man. Gotcha claws, we've been good boys and girls this year. The, the cheese and the cheese uh, viewers, we've been good. We deserve good things. Come on. Hook us up. And every time he sits down, he should make a crystal uh, a crystal for us. Another primitive. As you can see, he burns through their things really quick. He, seems, he always seems to eat the mistletoe first. I don't know if he likes that more or you get better things out of that. I'm not sure. But the mistletoe always goes first. As you can see, that's already gone. Copy, please. Come on, give me an ascendant crystal. Give me something good. Come on, you can get crystals in uh, primitive, a ramshackle, apprentice, journeyman. It goes all the way up. Is that a oh, an ascendant one. We got an ascendant crystal. Nice. Can I please? We got an ascendant crystal out of that one. We have how much do we have left? We have twenty three coal left. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of something awesome. Down here. Another primitive. We're not doing very good on luck, to be completely honest. Normally, we do a little bit better than this. I've gotten mostly primitive so far. Come on, baby. Come on! Give me an ascendant. I think I'll only get like one or more, one or two more crystals with what's in there. Another primitive. Come on, man! Come on. Me. What do you got? Last one ascended. Another primitive. Wow. We, so we got one. We got uh, eight crystals. Oh, he still got some coal, though. We might get one more. Is he going to eat that last three coal and give us another one? Or is he done? Because it's. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay, cool. Now he should be out. Yep. Now he's completely out. So this will be our last crystal. And it's a, it's also a primitive. Now we're completely out. So now he's done. Okay, so let's open up and see what we got. Oh, we'll, let's open up our gifts from Gotcha Claws. 
We'll save the ascendant one for last. Wherever that one is. Oh, wait. That one's a primitive. That one just says gotcha crystal. Weird. And this uh, fiber we just accidentally picked up. That doesn't count. Now we're being attacked. Dang it, everything, please. Here we go. Let's see what we got. We'll start with the just the regular gotcha crystal, I guess. Oh, we got a holiday stocking. Cool. An oversized stocking that adds jolliness to any holiday. Now, it's really cool. It's a decoration. You can hang them up on your wall. Unfortunately, it has a spoil timer. It only lasts for 21 days. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I'd love to make like a Santa's village house and leave it up, but apparently that's not going to be an option. All right, on to the next one. We got a top skin, a top hat skin. Meh. All right, we got a present. Now, these are cool. It says put items in this and inscribe a tribe member's name, and only they will be able to open it with a bang. So you can, like, give gifts to people, and then they'll open up. That's really, really cool. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, a fireworks skin. Oh, that was the ascendant one I just opened by accident. Um, I'll show you guys what we get there, which is actually pretty cool. We'll save that for the end, actually. We're getting attacked again. Okay, perfect. It's all going great. So in that one, we got um, the festive candies. Uh, these give This one gives you 10% movement speed uh, and then changes all these color regions for 24 hours. So you know, it'll change region 1 to cyan, region 2 to forest, region 3 to brick. So we'll try that on the bird in a minute. Let's uh, use the rest of the things. That time I got another stocking, um, another candy. This one only gives 5% movement speed. Oh, this is a Mastercraft candy. Oh, I didn't realize. So the candies have different levels too. So this is a primitive candy. This is a Mastercraft candy. Um, get that. Oh, we got a snowman, which is pretty cool. And we got another candy, another primitive festive candy. All right, cool. Let's uh, fly over to the base real quick. And we'll put up a couple of these decorations so we can see. And we'll throw the candy on our bird so we can see what that does. That'll be really great. Uh, Vidveg made a super amazing community center. It's right over here. Um, let's see. It's right here somewhere. There's another, there's two more gotcha clauses. As you can see, there's literally gotcha clauses everywhere. Um, I'll cut, I'll bring you guys back when we get back to the base. Okay, we're back. Um, I wanted to show you guys what the candies do. As you can see, my bird is kind of Christmassy colors. He's red and green and yellow. Um, now, if you take, you open up the inventory of your bird, you take one of the candies. I guess I'm going to use the Mastercraft one. It's going to give me a 10% movement speed. I put that in his inventory, and then I'm going to push E to use. And then look, it colors him that color. Now, don't worry, it's only a 24 hour buff. And also, if you cryopod him or transfer servos, it takes the color and the buff off. But if I fly on him now, you'll see that, see in the upper right hand corner, it's got the candy buff for 24 hours. I'll have this color and a bonus 10% movement speed. So that's what the candies do. Um, we'll try another one just for, just for funsies. Let's try this one and feed it to him. And now he's this color. Super cool looking. Uh, all right, let's try one more. We'll try all the candies we got just for the sake of the video. Let's try one more. And eat. Ooh, that one's very, he's sleek racing bird. Kind of like the first one the best. But. Yeah, so now we'll be this color for 24 hours and we have a speed boost, which is pretty cool. All right, I'll bring you guys back when we get back to the base. And we're back. Okay, we're back here over at the uh, community center on my server that VidVeg made. And we're going to give it a little bit of holiday cheer. Let's take the stockings. Stockings were hung by the tech generator with care. And they look really cool. They're super neat. Um, in hopes that Raptor Claws soon would be there. We've got a snowman. Oh, does the snowman only go outside? Apparently, the snowman only can go outside. We'll put a little snowman outside. Now, uh, another question you guys might have is, can you tame Gotcha Claws? No, you cannot. You cannot be tamed. Um, but, now uh, this is a little, you know, it's a little morbid. But, you can't tame Gotcha Claws. Door, please. But, you can kill the Gotcha Claws. And put him on a pedestal. <laughs> and, and you can harvest his dermis. And then you can put him in your base and have gotcha. Oh, there's a gotcha claw. So you can save him. And you can do different little poses. Hey, gotcha claw. He's a little smiley gotcha claws. He's, oh, he's, he's pondering. He's sitting and thinking about. He's checking his list. He's checking it twice. You gotta find out if you've been naughty or nice. 
But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If this helped you out in any way or helped you learn how to use Gotcha Claws or you felt yourself entertained in any bit, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are looking for daily streams, make sure to go check me out on Twitch. I stream over there every single day. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and dead gotcha claws. Out.